Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out you guys' solar systems. So today we're going to be doing the third system from one of you guys. So um, yeah, if you guys remember um, Astro photos and videos or Nathan of Universe because he has more than one account. Yeah, so yeah, special thanks to him for sending the um, solar system to me as well. So yeah, I'll put a link to his um, channel in the description. But yeah, so... If you guys remember, first of all, he sent us the, uh, it was the Z system. So yeah, this system here, so this is the very first system he sent us here. So if you haven't seen uh, the episode where I showed it off, go check it out. Then um, he sent the core system. So this was like a different version with the cool pink background. But today, he sent us the UE system, I believe that's pronounced. Y Y U I is how it's pronounced, so, or how it's um, spelt. So yeah, UE system, I believe that's pronounced. So... Yeah, before we begin though guys, just um, a quick um, thing um, as well, um, some people are still saying, um, or like still saying, how do I send my system to you? So basically, all you need to do is upload your solar system to somewhere I can download it. So, for instance, I think a lot of you guys use the media fire. I think that's um, what it's called. I think a lot of you guys use that to um, upload stuff to. So yeah, just find somewhere where you can upload a file, and then send me a link in the YouTube comments to download it. But please, only send them on videos or only send them on these videos, not any other video, because you know, otherwise it will get things all jumbled up and it's quite hard to keep track of. So, yeah, but without that out of the way, let's begin. So now we're going to check out the UE system. So from the picture, you can already tell there's quite a lot of stuff in here. So let's see what we got. Oh, I do like the background. That's quite a cool grey colour there. But yeah, here we go. So there is a ton of objects in here. So let's go the way to the centre though and begin. Oh, wait, I don't know. Is this a centre? No, here's a centre. Okay, so, yeah, here's our centre star. So, it's UEAS1. So, does that mean star one? So, is there more than one star in here, maybe? So, there's its half zone. Okay, it does look like... Okay, maybe there is only one star, then. There's a lot of numbers and names around here. So, this is going to be really interesting. So, all right, let's hit play as well. And let's begin. So, we've got UEAS1. So, also, looks about double the radius of the sun, I want to say. Somewhere around there. Yeah, there's the sun there. So, it looks about double the radius. So, yeah, there's a comparison with the sun. So there is that. Alright, next up, let's go check out the first planet. So UE BR1. Alright. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. Liking the um yellowy gold colour with the white. That's that's a pretty nice um colour there. So yeah, here's its um colours if you want to check those out. So yeah, there we go. This how large is this object? Okay, a little how was is it a little bigger than Mercury, I think? Yeah, there's Mercury there. It's a little bigger than Mercury. Uh, temperature 226 so also very similar to mercury in its properties here but it only reflects one percent of light so this absorbs a lot of heat this object and there's its some um, compositions yeah this this um is similar to mercury i'd say so there is that but anyways let's go out and check the next object so that's ubbr1 wait is there a second object there what was that oh that's no, just the part of the trail okay so all right, now we've got ubcr2 so let's go and check out over here so cr2 Oh, there's a lot of things orbiting this. Oh, okay, look at this. All right, so we've got a rocky Hathwell planet here. So this is looking cool. So yeah, there's a good overview or a good look at it. So it's just gone flashlight. So yeah, there's a complete overview of the object there. So yeah, there you go. What do you guys think of that? Very similar to Earth in radius, a little larger in mass, as you can see. 36 degrees in temperature. So it's a little warmer than Earth's average temperature, I'd say. Doesn't or it, it doesn't uh, reflect any light. This thing absorbs all the light it receives. So pretty interesting there. There's its composition as well. And then let's just quickly check. Life likelihood 0.0%. Okay, that's pretty interesting there. So it's got a high Earth similarity, but the life likelihood is very low. Maybe that's because of the albedo. That could be why. So yeah, there's that. But anyways, let's see what else we've got here. So we've got Test Probe 2. So this is a... Um, oh, it's this object. Is this the marble object? This, this object's really weird. I've never brought it up in a video, but is it... Um, Someone, one of the ones down here, isn't it? Well, there's that Tesla again. That's awesome. It's this marble thing. I know it's that. Yeah, there it is. It's one of these. What is this? Like, is anyone, what is, does anyone know what this actually is? Like, I don't... Is it from, like, a film or something? I, don't, I have no idea. Or is it just meant to represent, like, a little marble? Glass marble? Like, why is it like this? I don't... I really don't know. But if anyone can explain what this object, like, this marble object is, then please let me know. Because it's one thing I've always wondered when I've got the game. I've never... Never really got this object. Yeah, there it is right there if you want to find it in your own menu. So, there's that. So, 1988 this object was um, discovered, I'm guessing. Um, or um, discovered in this solar system if um, by the year system there. So, there's that. Alright, so let's see what we got next. Let's zoom out. Alright, so we've got Test Probe 1 here. So, 
pretty much exactly the same object, just called number one in 1987 instead. So I'm guessing that means the years, but I'm not sure. Since this solar system's only been around for 133 days, <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, don't worry about that. So da -da, let's go to realistic. All right. So now we've got Yui Ka or U Yui Ka. I think that's um said. So there's that's just like an orange desert sort of world with like a red Mars atmosphere. Um, yes, it is a Mars atmosphere because it's got a climate mode. So, yeah, this was Mars originally, I believe. So, yeah, there is that. Do like the yellow cream sort of colour with the Mars atmosphere. That That is pretty cool. I, I definitely like that. First stage of Yui Ka 1. So, this was a spaceship launched by the inhabitants of that planet, I'm guessing. So, Yui Cr 2 there. So, yeah, there's um one of the rocket pieces. They should add the full rocket in to the game of the USA Saturn V. Like, they should add all the parts of it and then um, the whole rocket itself. That'd be quite cool. So, yeah, there's UE Cat 1. I hope I'm saying that correctly. So, yeah, and that is all of it for the CR2, the UE CR2 system. So, let's go out of there now and let's see what we got next. So, UE DG1. Oh, all these letters. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, this is a gas giant, as we can see here. So, yellow gray brown sort of color all right looking good so let's see what here very very cold here as you can see it reflects 99 or 97 percent of the light it receives so very very cold here minus 270 degrees here we've got some more of those test probe marble objects also 1998 on that one now we've got an object called m1 so very very small little asteroid as we can see here very small in radius so there is that Let's quickly check the gas giant's composition. So it's a mixture of everything, that gas giant, as we can see here. Let's just get a quick comparison with one of our gas giants. So let's compare it to Neptune here. So let's um, go all the way up. Um, are they, oh, yeah, so there's Jupiter and then Neptune. There you go. So it's a little large and a little smaller than Saturn, as you can see, but definitely larger than Uranus, as you can see there. All right, cool. Uh, so we've got M1. Then we've got um, M2 here. As soon as you hit play, let's actually get this solar system going. So here is M2. So as you can see here, very similar to M1, just different name pretty much because they're all very small little minor objects is here. So I'm guessing M stands for minor like it did last time, I believe, in these systems. So minor three. Then we've got UE DMM-1. Oh, so many letters. All right, so um, yeah, here is it. So it's a frozen ice world. So this... um. For me, this definitely resembles Jupiter's moon Europa, even though this moon is a definitely a lot smaller than Europa, as we can see here, just because it's a frozen world. But it does have an atmosphere, unlike Europa, so there's that. It's actually quite small as well, a little bigger than Mimus and Tephi, or not Tephi's, Mimus and Enceladus. So let's go ahead and find those guys. So yeah, there's Enceladus, a little larger than them, as you can see there. So yeah, here's its composition as well. 1% is water, so this would be an ocean world if it was warm enough. Then there's its albedo, so only reflects 5% of light it receives there. So, yeah, there is UEDMM1. Um, okay, what have we got next? Actually, just going to orbit mode, just so we can see here. So there's that. Okay, so the next object out is this one here. So X-ray. So this is the Juno spacecraft um, renamed here. So there is that. And, yeah, there you go. Not really much to say about it other than it's the Juno spacecraft. So, yeah, there we go. There is that. So now let's go. It's always a little buggy when you zoom into little objects like that. So yeah, there's that. Next object is M4, so another little minor um, asteroid object there. So not much to see here, as you can see. So yeah, there is that. So yeah, there's the UEDG1 system. So or pop, it's a little system here. So yeah, there's this gas giant. So let's see what we have next. All right, so now we've got UEER3. Oh, I'm liking the red with a Mars atmosphere as well. So let's go and zoom in here. Wow. Okay, what's that? That's a very close... Oh, it's another Juno spacecraft. Okay, so it's very, very close to the planet here. So, yeah, they were spinning quite fast as well, as we can see here. It's only a few minutes a second here. So, yeah, there is that. Oh, that's close to the object. All right. Actually, let's um, quickly... Um, how close is it? Only 3,152 kilometers above the surface, it looks like. So, that's, yeah, that is very close. Um, then we've got M1 again, so another minor object. So, little, little, little minor objects flying around here. So, there's that. Then we've got another minor object, and so minor two. So there's another tiny little one here, around 30. They're all around the 30 um, kilometers here, as you can see. Then we've got UEDMM1. It's another small rocky planet. Definitely larger than the Europa, um, or Europa-like one from the previous planet. So, yeah, there is its composition here. So, there we go. So, not many of these objects reflect a lot of light. So, that's pretty interesting. So, then we've got all that. There's its color composition as well. So there we go. All right. So there is the UEER3 part of the system. Also with a nice Mars trail, I might add as well. So there's that. 
Okay, what have we got next? Yuri FR3. Okay, so another rocky planet here. Minus 150 degrees. Okay. So it's all water. This is an Earth atmosphere by any chance? Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. So there's a bl nice blue here. That's looking good. It's here, minus 150 degrees. Ah, this one reflects a lot of light. There you go. Um, quite a small little atmosphere on here, as you can see by the surface pressure. Not much, really, in the Earth atmospheres, anyway. And there's its composition as well. Earth similarity is 45.4%. And yeah, there's this other stat. So a little larger than Earth in radius and mass as well. So yeah, there we go. So there's Yui FR3, and it doesn't look like anything's orbs in that. All right, what have we got next? Okay, Yui GR4 now. So another rocky planet here. Also quite small in... Oh, no, that's the moon. We're, we're checking out the moon first. So yeah, there is the moon. It's getting darker. You can see it's... um. Go on, flashlight. It's quite dark here. So the star's light is starting to run out at this distance. So... Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's its colours, as you can see. Very cold here as well. Reflects a lot of light, and it's already quite far from the star. So very, very cold here. Here is the planet, so Yui GR4. So it's a green world with a blue atmosphere. Definitely liking the colour schemes there. So there's its um, colours. So there we go. So what do you guys think of that? It's also a little larger in Earth, than Earth in mass and radius as well. Earth similarity is 36.8%, as you can see there. And no life likelihood. So yeah, there we go. There is the GR4 system. Let's quickly check how far away is this. So this is about 38 AU. So this is very far away from the star. And this is definitely... Oh, this is further than Neptune and Samal Sun. So there's that. Okay, what we got next? Wow, we've still got a ton of objects to go through here. Right, so... Right, um, UE GR4. Okay, next object here. Ooh, wow. Okay, I'm liking this the way this looks. Oh, that's a moon. Dang it. All right, so here's, here's the main object. So it's a gas giant. Ooh, I do like the colours on that as well. The blue and the white go quite well together. It actually reminds me of um, one of my custom objects, actually. Let's just quickly find it here. So, da -da. this one here. A little, little similar to um, that one there. In the colours. A little, little darker in colour, though. Yeah. A little similar. So, yeah, there is that. So, there's a gas giant. A bit like Uranus on its side as well. It's very um, very high in its orbit, as you can see. It's very inclined, as we can see there. So, yeah, there is 65,000. So, this is definitely the largest object we've came across so far. So, yeah, there's it compared to Jupiter, so just a tiny bit smaller than Jupiter, because Jupiter's about 69,000, yeah, 69,000, this is 65,000, so a little, little smaller than Jupiter is. Right, anyways, let's go on to the moon, so we've got M1, so another little minor object, M2, also a minor object, then we've got UEHC, so this one does look pretty cool, so very similar to Earth in size and mass as well. As some of the previous objects we've seen there, and there is its colours. So let's go back on realistic mode. Yes, there it goes. So it's very, very dark here, as you can see. So how life lives here it must be quite hard. So you can see it reflects six percent of light, has a very, very low surface pressure, and it's probably getting tidal heating from the gas giant. I'm presuming there. So can I see anything here? Anything about tidal heating? Tidal power. Yeah, there is some tidal power there. Yeah, and there's its temperature. So looking good. Okay, so yeah, there we go. There's UEHC. All right, so let's see what we got next. All right, so there's that part of the system done. So what have we got next? Okay, so UEJG or JG3. So I'm um, on one of the moons again. All right, so oh, a green one. Okay, quite a nice green object this actually. So there we go. Not bad for a green spawn because greens are quite rare. So yeah, there's a green planet here. So let's see there. So a little larger than um. Or actually, about 10,000 kilometers larger than Neptune. This thing's quite big. Definitely not as large as Saturn, though. Yeah, there's Saturn. Uh, Uranus is there. Neptune as well. Also very similar. So, we've got Yui Jack. Yeah, we'll just leave it on flashlight mode so we can actually see. Because right now, I think it's very, very dark. It's pretty much completely pitch black now. There's no sunlight reaching these objects, hardly. So, yeah, minus 270. So, I don't think any sunlight's reaching, actually. There's its um, albedo there. Structure, composition's all there. Very, very low Earth similarity. Wait, hang on. The gas giant is more similar to Earth? Look, 0 0.304. This has 0 0.295. So apparently this is more similar to Earth than the actual rocky planet. That makes sense. So, yeah, there's that. Well, I guess it does have some water on it, but it still is a gas giant with a lot of gas. So the gas is the... or hydrogen is the most common element out of the four there. So, there's that. And that only has one little moon, as we can see here. So there's that. So Yui Jack. All right. So let's see what we've got next. Oh, excuse me, I'm a little tired today. So, um, yeah. Right, anyways, um, UEJG3 is there. 
All right, and then now we've got UEKR6. So, oh, another red object, okay? Very small in radius as well. So, a lot of very small um, objects here. I'll mix with some bigger ones. So, a lone planet or lone world or dwarf minor planet, I should say. Very similar to Sedna, actually, I think. Um, where's Sedna? Yeah, here's my custom Sedna. So, just pause it. Very, very similar to Sedna. And let's just get a random game spawn one as well. So, yeah, you can see this was probably inspired by um, Sedna. So... Yeah, dark little red object. Very similar in radius to Sedna as well. So, yeah, there you go. So, there's um, Sedna, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you guys think of that? Anyway, so, yeah, let's move on. So, let's see what we have next. Also, let's quickly check its composition there. So, um, there's that. 51.2% Earth similarity. Not bad on the Earth similarity, even though it's quite a small object. 10 degrees here. How has this planet got heat? That doesn't make sense. Well, how does that work? Well, if we speed this up, surely it'll cool down. There's no way. How is it only at 10 degrees? There's no sunlight here. How is it getting temperature? There's no tidal heating. Please tell me how you did this, because that's pretty interesting. Well, I don't know. It's going down. No, it is going down. Okay, we just weren't playing fast enough, so it is slowly cooling down, that one. All right, so let's see what we got next. So da -da -da. I think it's this object number eight. So it's just an um, asteroid, as we can see here. So there's that. All right. So there's that one, John. Okay, what have we got next? So, five. Hmm. Okay, it looks... Yeah, so it looks like all these objects out here are all just little um, asteroids. Maybe one of them we've got... Maybe one of them's, like, special. Maybe that's why they're numbered. I don't know. Or maybe they're just all um, very small in size. So we've got a four here, 2017. Uh, we've got the Nerds Comet. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, this one has a very inclined orbit as well, as we can see here. And a very eccentric orbit as well. As well as we see it goes in and out of the system there. Still, even at its closest point, it probably is still very dark there. So, probably never receives much line. It. Then we've got Yui's Comet. I like how you've, like, numbered the... Or, like, put the year um, or some years with them. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, we've got the radius there. Very similar to all of the other little minor objects. But, yeah, I think that is everything for this system. So, yeah, there you go. So, let's just get a quick um, look here at all the objects. So, we've got three gas giants, as we can see here. And we've got um, a lot of um, like Earth-like worlds. Here are the um, Earth ones, slightly larger than Earth. All of these are slightly larger than Earth, I believe. Um, actually, wait, is this one? No, that one may be a little smaller than Earth, actually. Let me just quickly get an Earth. Uh, Earth is 6,700. Oh, no, 6,300. No, no, that is larger than Earth. Then we've got all of these ones, which are a little smaller than Earth here. So there's all those guys. Then we get the really minor objects. So very, very small ones here. So, yeah, here's a big lineup of more. And then we've got the very, very small little minor... Um, objects here. So there we go. So the smallest object. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm yawning a bit, but <laughs> I'm pretty tired. So yeah, we've got um, the um, two little um, spacecrafts here. Oh, wait. Where are the. Oh, there's those little. Um... Whoa, it's really bouncy. So there's actually three of those. I didn't find the third one. So there's three of those little marble things. Where was this New Horizons probe? Where is this? Oh, it's just one of the. Oh, okay, that's why we didn't see it. <laughs> Look how far out this is. Okay, so this is this is very, very far away. But yeah, there's a new Horizons probe. I'm kind of glad I did the chart mode. Else we wouldn't have spotted this. But yeah, look at that. So there's a secret hidden um, new Horizons probe out here out of the system. Look. No, I would not have spotted that because I was pretty much just looking all around like this. I, I, I did not notice that object all the way out there. So yeah, secret space probe in here. That's pretty cool. Nice little... um hide there if you were meant to hide that maybe it was wasn't intentional for it to be hidden like that but i'm guessing it, it must have been since i i didn't see it honestly I, that's pretty cool stuff so yeah but there we go what do you guys think of this solar system yeah let me know down in the comments obviously um i'm pretty sure um nathan universe or um astro photos and videos um whichever account he's using will be um interested to see um your um thoughts on this so yeah like i said i'll leave a link to his um stuff down below in the description and comments like i always do and yeah so now he's um he sent three systems in now so which one do you think is the best guys so we've had the um where is it the the core system oh no the z system was the original one so we have the z system then we had the core system and today we had the UE system. So, yeah, which one do you guys think is the best? Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. But, yeah, like I said, that is it for this video. So, if you um, have any solar systems to send in, um, send them in only on these videos, like I um, said at the start of the video. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. And, obviously, many thanks for 1 million views overall as well, because that is awesome. I'm actually um, pre-recording this for Friday or Saturday. 
Um, I'm actually recording this on Thursday, um, like I did with the previous video. So yeah, I did a double double recording today. So yeah. Anyways, yeah, that is everything. So yeah, make sure you guys all have a great day. Subscribe if you're new, leave a like, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out you guys' solar systems. So today we're going to be doing the third system from one of you guys. So um, yeah, if you guys remember um, Astro Photos and Videos or Nathan of Universe because he has more than one account. Yeah, so yeah, special thanks to him for sending the um, solar system to me as well. So yeah, I'll put a link to his um, channel in the description. But yeah, so... If you guys remember, first of all, he sent us the, uh, it was the Z system. So yeah, this system here. So this is the very first system he sent us here. So if you haven't seen uh, the episode where I showed it off, go check it out. Then um, he sent the core system. So this was like a different version with the cool pink background. But today, he sent us the UE system, I believe that's pronounced. We check out the UE system. So from the picture, you can really tell there's quite a lot of stuff in here. So let's see what we got. Oh, I do like the background. That's quite a cool grey color there but yeah here we go so that is a ton of objects in here so let's go the way to the center though and begin oh wait i know is this a center no here's a center okay so yeah here's our center star so it's ueas1 so does that mean star one so is there more than one star in here maybe so there's its half zone okay it does look like okay maybe there is only one star then there's a lot of numbers and names around here so this will be really interesting so all right let's hit play as well and let's begin so we've got ueas1 so also, looks about double the radius of the sun, I want to say. Somewhere around there. Yeah, there's the sun there. So, it looks about double the radius. So, yeah, there's a comparison with the sun. So, there is that. All right, next up. Let's go check out the first planet. So, Yui BR1. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. Liking the um, yellowy gold color with the white. That's that's a pretty nice um, color there. So, yeah, here's its um, colors if you want to check those out. So, yeah, there we go. This How large is this object? Okay, a little... How was, is it a little bigger than Mercury, I think? Yeah, there's Mercury there. It's a little bigger than Mercury. Uh, temperature, 226. So also very similar to Mercury in its properties here. But it only reflects 1% of the light. So this absorbs a lot of heat, this object. And there's its um, compositions. Yeah, this this um, is similar to Mercury, I'd say. So that is that. But anyways, let's go out and check the next object. So that's UBBR1. Wait, is there a second object there? Y Y U I is how it's pronounced, so or how it's um, spelt. So yeah, U E system, I believe that's pronounced. So yeah, before we begin though, guys, just um, a quick um, thing um, as well. Um, some people are still saying um, or like still saying, how do I send my system to you? So basically, all you need to do is upload your solar system to somewhere I can download it. So for instance, I think a lot of you guys use the Media Fire. I think that's um, what it's called. I think a lot of you guys use that to um, upload stuff to. So yeah, just find somewhere. Where you can upload a file and then send me a link in the YouTube comments to download it. But please only send them on videos or only send them on these videos, not any other video because you know, otherwise it will get things all jumbled up and it's quite hard to keep track of. So, yeah, but with that, that out the way, let's begin. So now we're going to that. Oh, that's no, just the part of the trail. Okay. So, all right, now we've got UECR2. So let's go and check out over here. So, CR2. Oh, there's a lot of things orbiting in this. Oh, okay, look at this. All right, so we've got a rocky Hathwell planet here, so this is looking cool. So yeah, there's a good overview or a good look at it. So it's just gone flashlight. So yeah, there's a complete overview of the object there. So yeah, there you go. What do you guys think of that? Very similar to Earth in radius, a little larger in mass, as you can see. 36 degrees in temperature, so it's a little warmer than Earth's average temperature, I'd say. Doesn't or it, it doesn't uh, reflect any light. This thing absorbs all the light it receives, so pretty interesting there. There's its composition as well, and then let's just quickly check. Life likelihood 0.0%. Okay, 